Hi, I'm Nia Tran and I'm a coach here at East Bay Badminton Association. I'm going to talk about proper grips work for the sport. This would be the proper forehand grip. As you can see, the racket is pointing downwards rather than flat. And this would be the proper backhand grip with my thumb on the flat end of the racket. To start, if you're right-handed, put your right hand on the racket face. And from there, slide the racket down until you hit the grip. Close it with the first three fingers. Put your thumb above the middle finger and your hand should now form a V with the racket grip. It's really similar to shaking somebody's hand as you're holding this racket right now. So with the forehand grip, it allows you to get into proper position as you turn out the racket and swing with your wrists without anything blocking or hurting your wrist. To do the backhand grip, all you have to do is start with the forehand grip and switch it by putting the pointing finger down and the thumb on the flat end of your racket. This gives you a nice backhand push, but it wouldn't do you any good for overhead backhand shots. So for the backhand grips, all you have to do is push with your thumb out with your racket facing forward. The thumb will help you push the shots forward and give you power at a very, very close space. For an overhead backhand grip, you'll have to hold your thumb on the groove that's unangled to your grip right here. By holding it here, it does two purposes. The first, it allows you to swing at full power without having any restrictions on your wrist, and it gives you a directional choice. You can hit straight or cross a lot easier than had you used any other grip with your racket. So we're going to talk about the forehand overhead shot and the mechanics of it. To start off, you must have your racket up with your elbow slightly bent with the other arm in front. As you're swinging the shot, make sure to pivot your body and extend your hand first without, bend, without straightening out your elbow. The last second, you must make sure to flick your wrist and turn out the racket head, which is very important. You won't be able to hit anything if the racket is like this. So turn out the racket head, snap the wrist, and follow through to the side, and not downwards like this. This would be a standard forehand overhead shot. We're going to talk about the overhead backhand shot for beginners. Once again, you'll need the proper backhand grip to execute this properly. Start off with your right, your, your elbow pointing upwards and the racket head towards your left shoulder. From here, extend outwards with your arm first as you turn your body and snap at the last second with your wrist, either straight or across, up to you. And as usual, follow through properly afterwards. This is the overhead backhand shot for beginners. I'm going to talk about the standard forehand for beginners. To start off, you need the proper forehand grip. In order to hit a forehand shot underhand, you must lock your wrists first before you hit the bird and push forward with your body as you snap the wrists upwards. Key parts, you have to make sure your racket head is facing at an angle when you hit the birdie rather than directly upwards because that'll just make it go up and not far. This is the forehand underhand shot for beginners. To talk about the backhand underhand, 
For this, you have to need proper backhand grip to execute this shot properly as well. Start off with your racket in front with the grip slightly locked and the racket facing forward. As you make contact with the birdie, make sure you pivot, you push forward with your body and snap your wrist. And make sure your racket is positioned at a certain angle so that it'll go forward rather than just upwards. This is the backhand underhand shot for beginners. we're going to talk about proper footwork for beginners. We're going to start by talking about the forward footwork towards the front first. First will be the front forehand shot. The key points, if you are right-handed, you have to start with your left leg going forward and then ending with your right leg slightly at a lunging movement. Make sure the foot is turned towards the direction in which you're going towards and not to the straight because you could potentially injure yourself and twist your ankle like that. So always have a nice balanced support of your entire body in a lunging motion to end your footwork. This would be the footwork for going towards the front for your forehand side. We're going to talk about the forward motion for your footwork towards your backhand side now. To start off, make sure your left foot goes first if you're right-handed and end with your right leg in a lunging motion, reaching towards the net. Make sure the foot is pointing the proper direction, like to balance your body in a proper lunge, rather than any other direction, which potentially can help you cause your, twist your ankle. This is how you do the footwork for the front net backhand. As you approach the net, this is how you return back to base again. Make sure you shuffle first rather than taking a step back first. The reason being, if you shuffle first, if your opponent decides to re-drop you, you can easily push forward with your left leg because your, right, your racket is still in front of you and kill the birdie. That would not allow you to do that had your leg been back here. It would take a longer time to jump forward to swing for the shot. This is how you move back to base after going forward. We're going to talk about the forehand side footwork. To start off, make sure you start with your left foot and lunge outwards with your right foot. Make sure that the, your foot is pointing towards the direction in which you're lunging towards and not straight because then you could possibly twist your ankle. So we don't want that. So now have a nice balance and have a nice lunging motion. From here, shuffle back. This is how you do the forehand side footwork. We're going to talk about the footwork for going towards our backhand side. To start off, make sure you push step with your left leg and end with your right leg towards the side that you want to go towards. Make sure the foot is pointing towards that direction and not outwards in any other way because you could potentially twist your ankle. Have a nice balance in a lunging motion and hit your backhand and shuffle back to base. This is how you do the footwork towards your backhand side. We're going to now talk about the forehand backcourt footwork. To start off, take your back leg one step back towards the direction in which you want to go towards and make shuffle movements until you get to the back. Ending with the right leg having the weight of your body. From here, swing 
and run back to base. This is how you do the forehand backcourt footwork for beginners. We're now going to talk about the footwork go, to go back towards our backhand backcourt side. Step with your left foot towards the direction in which you want to go towards and step with the next leg with your right leg. Continue following the birdie as you shuffle until you see the birdie, you're in great position and the weight of your body should be on your right leg. From here, hit the shot, pivot quickly and run back to base. This is how you do the footwork for the backcourt backhand for beginners. This will be the six basic footwork for beginners for moving towards the corners and going back to baseline. I'm going to talk about the short serve. Where you would stand to serve, you would stand closer towards the front baseline with your right leg forward. To do the backhand short serve, start by having your backhand grip, meaning the thumb is on the flat end of your racket. Start by positioning the racket's head face down in front of you, like so. Next, put the birdie in front and in the middle of the racket. Make sure that you hold it by one of the feathers of the bird, so you have good control and feel of the bird. Once you put it in the middle, the serve starts as soon as you go forward with your racket. Meaning you can do anything else before that, but as soon as it goes forward, it has to be in one smooth motion and it cannot stop. So from here, push forward gently with your fingers and over the net. To do the forehand short serve, start by positioning your right foot in the back and your racket face down. From here, hold the bird with one feather in front of you, like so. Make sure the cork is facing downwards. From after that, you'll drop the birdie first, swing forward, and make sure the contact point is below your waist with the racket pushing forward like so. For the forehand serve, same concept. Make sure the contact point is below the waist. A general tip for beginners for short serves is when you begin, aim for the white tape on the net. This way you'll get your practice out and you'll get to practice getting it right over the tape. Today we're going to talk about the long serve for beginners, both backhand and forehand. The goal of the long serve is to get it nice and high and deep and far onto your opponent's side so that it opens up the court for you. To do the long serve with the forehand, the first step is to have a nice forehand grip. From there, have your dominant leg, if you're right-handed, that would be your right leg, in the back, holding the birdie with, on the feather, facing forward, with the cork facing forward. Position yourself so that the birdie is in front and the racket is down here, next to your sides, wrists locked and ready to swing. Start by releasing the birdie first before you swing. A lot of beginners make the mistake of dropping and swinging at the same time. The timing would be off and you wouldn't get a very good shot from that. So make sure you hit it in front of you rather than to the side of you. Start by dropping the birdie, count one, and then swing with a full pivot motion. This is the forehand long serve. To do a backhand long serve, start by positioning yourself 
with your right foot in front, racket in front at an angle. Hold the birdie with two fingers onto one of its feathers and position it in front of your racket. Start by pulling back and locking your wrists and as you approach forward, go at a fast and powerful speed. This is the backhand long serve. And that was the long serve, both forehand and backhand for badminton. If you would like to play or learn more about the sport, you can visit us on our web at www.eastbaybadminton.com.